It's a flagpole that in 19 days will proudly fly the Cuban flag again. After news, the U.S. is largely abandoning its decades-long policy of isolation towards the island nation with a call for lawmakers to follow suit. Americans and Cubans alike are ready to move forward. I believe it's time for Congress to do the same. And I've called on Congress to take steps to lift the embargo that prevents Americans from traveling or doing business in Cuba. We've already seen members from both parties begin that work. After all, why should Washington stand in the way of our own people? Welcome news for a country that has long espoused the values of engagement. It started well beyond when, when our former president, Nelson Mandela, uh, when we got democracy in South Africa and we became part of the international community, the discussion started then. I remember very well that President Man Mandela was uh, involved in this, President Tabombegi was involved, President Zuma has been involved. So all the way around since 1994, this discussion had been taking place. Mahlangu called his country's relationship with Cuba a fraternal one. An overwhelming majority of foreign governments have now for years been lobbying the U.S. government to ease restrictions on Cuba, no less the staff that have occupied this embassy for the last two decades. And while the incremental but significant steps are to be welcomed, the lobbying will now shift from the White House to members of Congress who have the final say on whether the U.S. embargo on Cuba is here to stay or go. Sherman Bryceby's SABC News, Washington.